Well, what could possibly make a great meal even better? How about being able to feel good that you are also helping others in your community at the same time? Jim Murphy, owner of Kingfisher and Bluefin Seafood Bistro, will be making a delicious dish for us today, while Christine Welter Hall tells us how it will help others with a Dine Out for Safety event. Thank you both so much uh, for joining us. And Jim, I already thanked you for making our studio smell amazing already. <laughs> oh it Thanks is. for having us. What is it that you're going to be making today? And will this be one of the dishes people could have in order to be a part of this event? It will be. It starts on the new menu the day after the event, which is Wednesday the 22nd, right? Mm -hmm. And this is, we're making a Jamaican rundown stew. And rundown uh, has to do with the coconut milk that we're reducing to make the stew. We start with a hot pan here and we're going to put our sea bass right in. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. use you could use anything. You know, the traditionally on the islands uh, when they would reduce the coconut milk, it would be sweetened and you could add fish to it or vegetables or chicken or something, but it's really about uh, just the flavors in it. And I but love yet, sea bass. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. This will be offered the evening of the event. I think that is great. Now, Christine, yes. April is National Sexual Assault Awareness Month, mm -hmm. and of course, that is kind of the focus of what this event is. Talk a little Absolutely. bit about that. Yes, um, on April 22nd, Wednesday, next Wednesday, is Dine Out for Safety. It's the 19th year we're hosting Dine Out for Safety, where at many, many local restaurants, they're donating a portion of the bill, um, of your bill, from the meal that you eat there to support survivors of sexual violence. Now, Dine Out for Safety, this is what the 19th year that yes, you've done 19. it. So it must be very successful every year. That's why we keep doing it. I think this is brilliant because, one, we all need a night out. Let's all go and have a great meal. And you actually have quite a few restaurants taking part in this, right? Yes, we have 24. And many are offering breakfast and lunch, lunch and dinner, just lunch or just dinner. So we have great restaurants like Kingfisher and Bluefin, Feast, um, Noble Hops, Vero Amore, and so many more. Go to our website, www.dineoutforsafety.com to see all of them and find out what meals they're supporting us for. We just had some of my favorite restaurants. Oh, Kingfisher's so been one of my favorites for so long. Jim, what did you just do over there that yeah. looks, smells so good? Well, we seared the fish, put a little color on it, seasoned it. And then this is the vegetable part of the stew. They've already been sweated off and it just cooked a little bit. We added them in and then we'll add the uh, coconut milk now for the rundown part. We'll put that right on top. That's not your light coconut milk. <laughs> no, 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 that no. is the real stuff. But, uh, and, you know, this event, we've been around 22 years and we've participated every year. Ah, and it's important so to the staff us as owners and to the uh, the clientele or Tucson community. It's a great group of people and it's a great cause too. It is and I think uh, you're making this dish and this this already looks amazing but tell us a little bit more about the restaurant and what they can come and experience any night but more we want them to come out for the 22nd. Well we will. Uh, this will be available. We also uh, we're a predominantly seafood house. Uh, we do have about uh, 70% seafood in the menu, but we have a great wine selection. We also have ribs and chicken and, and steak, but uh, it's, it's general seating, open seating. You just call and make a reservation. And, just had uh, lunch there this week, a delicious <laughs> shrimp uh, sandwich. So you can actually dine out for lunch or dinner at Kingfisher or Bluefin, as well as so many other restaurants on the 22nd. And late night at the Fish. We're open till midnight every night, too. And can we talk about how amazing your cocktails are? Oh. Well, thank you, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the best. Well, I mean, some of the best in town, seriously. Well, that's my staff. We have an excellent staff, and we've been very lucky to keep them as long as we have. But uh, it's a great place to work, and in addition to owning it, it's a great place to work. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Christine, you know, I'm going to kind of take it real base here for sure. us. Mm -hmm. uh, sexual abuse is really not something that a lot of people talk about, right. a lot of people maybe don't come out of the shadows with, and we're giving it kind of, this is the atmosphere we can talk about it. So That's this right. is also, where are these funds going? Because we're, we're going to be giving some of those proceeds away. Yes, the proceeds go to the Southern Arizona Center Against Sexual Assault. Many people know it as SACASA, where we serve um, many people, thousands of people every year who are are, uh, victims of sexual violence and sexual violence takes many forms. It's not just rape, although that's what we hear about a lot, but it can be harassment and many other 
forms as well. In fact, every 2.5 minutes, someone is a victim of rape. One out of five women are impacted by sexual violence in their lifetime, that's huge. And so we do have a crisis line at Sacasa that we want to encourage anyone to call if they, ma male, female, et cetera, if they um, feel like they need some support, it's 327-7273. Christine, I'm so happy and actually very proud that you're on our show today talking about this because as Tina said, it is a difficult thing for people to talk about and this kind of gives people an open door that you know what, it's, it is okay. And in oh. fact, the community is getting together in support. Yeah, and so much support for this. Exactly, and Jim, I, whatever you are doing over there mm. is <laughs> You're gonna get to incredible. taste it. Yeah. it <gasps> smells really good. We're we gonna too. taste it too? Oh yeah. You can if you want. That's excellent. Now Christine, while he's stirring that up, there's gonna be a raffle as well. Yes, we will be event. selling raffle tickets at the event. If you can't make it out to a restaurant, like if you're out of town, you can call me. Oops, you can call me to my number is 202-1746. But the grand prize of the raffle is um, gift certificates, dinner for two at all of the participating restaurants. So it's a great grand prize and many other prizes in there as well. Well, we'll go to the website. We will look at the list of restaurants. We will pick one, one Please. or two. Go for lunch and dinner. Breakfast Absolutely. even. Yes. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. And late night. And like, there you go. <laughs> Jim says just hang out all day. There That's right, go. pretty much. I love it. Jim, are we trying this on yes. commercial break? Or you uh, have it for us now? I Yes, Up I can have you, it sir. for you right now. Oh, well, I'm all, right. all for Tina, that. Tina loves food. I don't know <laughs> if anybody has ever seen the show before. They probably already know this. May, that may but or Tina may not be loves true. Food. Yeah. <laughs> and I've eaten a Kingfisher several times, so I have a feeling this is going to be amazing. Well, let's give them the information for the Absolutely. event, and then we will definitely try this. That's right. Dine Out for Safety is next Wednesday at many local restaurants. For a list and more information, you can call 202-1746 or log on to dineoutforsafety.com. No joke. This is a buzz around our office. People are talking about Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Dine Out for Safety.